Gemini, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It's an energy reading, so please take it where and how it resonates in your life. These are messages that come to you when you need to hear them. Actually, when you're ready to receive them, Gemini. So when it's pertinent to your life and when God knows that your ear is going to be open, that's when you'll discover these readings. Now, I do do a new message every single week, so I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell so you always get them fresh off the press. And if you're looking for... I'm just dividing the deck, guys. Um, if you're looking for... Uh, personal readings. I'm an astrologer as well. I can do a full synastry chart analysis for you. You just check over there and see uh, what kind of services you want, um, what works out for you. That's where my extended readings are as well. Everything is pretty much housed on my website. So check it out, bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. Don't forget the tarot. Don't forget the tarot because Born Without Boundaries is me, but specifically Born Without Boundaries Tarot. All right. Just want to divide the deck for Gemini energy. Come to me, come to me, come to me, Gemini energy. Let's get into this. You made a comeback. Now we have something in the past. Let me show you the table. We have something coming up in the past, not too distant past, but past. And this is all coming out right now in the present cascading toward the future, but not the future, which we will get into. There is something here where you kind of made a comeback, but you made a comeback in a way that it was solid. It was actually officialized and secured. I don't know how you did that, but it was through some traditional conduit. Then we have Sing your own song and be peace. Finding harmony within yourself. Finding a happy place where you were proud of you. And that's the most important thing. Didn't have anything to do with money. Didn't have anything to do with fame, popularity, or being right. It had to do with making peace with yourself and balancing something out from the past that you really needed to make okay, which you did. You needed to sort of balance out and find peace uh, find find it find a sense of certainty, security, and assuredness, like just um, like a foundation, solid foundation. Build a lay a solid foundation. This is a Virgo energy. Could have been with law. Could have been with words. Could have been with slow and steady work. Working your way up to earn or create for yourself. Cultivate a rebirth. Right to find peace with who you are and what your life was. That's where we are now. Now what we have is sweet results await. Sweet results await is success and abundance. Only the busy bee gets the honey. This is Leo energy. Confidence, think on your feet is in reverse, however. Let me say this to you. You are in a solid place. And don't let anybody tell you differently. You are all good. But this is a motherfucker. And I'm just going to lay it out for you. When Fox comes out, it's either that you've decided, I don't want to move, I don't want to change anymore. That's okay for a while, but everything has to change. Everything, even the good times, have to come back down. You have to let that happen for life to be what it is. Now, but I'm glad that you're happy. That's not what I saw. What I saw here, when Fox comes in reverse, Fox is a deceptive person. I don't mean to make you paranoid. I don't mean to make you nasty. But what I was happy about is that you are on such solid ground. And what God is reminding you of is you've been through some shit. You put all that crap back together in the order that secured you like a 
fucking foundation, a firmament, a goddamn si skyscraper, you know, steel bars that go hundreds of feet into the ground. Like you built this ground up where you are now. And you need to be reminded right now that nobody, nobody can come and mess you up. There is like a little rat in the machine. There is somebody here, something, something screwy or manipulative trying to whittle its way or make you worry. It wants the warmth of the foundation that you built. That's what it wants. And you're right. You need to weed it out because that's, this kind of motherfucker does nothing but crap on your floors. That's all it does. It doesn't bring breath blessings. It doesn't bring a new perspective. All this motherfucker does is crap on your floors. So yeah, you need to get him out of the building you worked hard to build. But the bottom line is everything is so good now. And you are so certain of what is sincere. What you, what is matters to you and the truth in others. You are in such a good spot that this little bitch is going to be real fucking obvious real fucking quick. It is going to be so clear to you that this piece of shit don't belong and that they're just there to feed off what you've built. It's going to be easy for you to call the exterminator. Let's go into... Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. <laughs> you better watch the extended. I hope you guys do. The link is always below. It's always on my website. It's always on my Vimeo. You can go over there and subscribe over there. No money. Just like, you know, check yes. I'd like to follow and know anytime I upload any new videos over there. I do, I upload astrology predictions over there too. So check it out, just check it out, it's the same. And I don't have a subscription model anymore. You wanna know why? Cause those bitches get you. You end up over long time, long term spending more money than just buying one off when you want it. And that's the truth. People wouldn't do it if it wasn't making them money. I'm just letting you know. Um. Stand your ground and maintain your standards, Gemini. Stand your ground and maintain your You know what's right. That's what it's saying because it's you. You're the king. Your king is wise. This is king of swords, right? So that's, that reflects king of air sign. That's you guys. You know. You know what's right. You know what's good. And you know to fight back all the little ratty pieces of shit that aren't giving you exactly what that is. Making a good decision to stand your ground. That's what it is. Because this is a guy that makes a good decision. This could be a person in your life. They're very smart. Not just strategic, but they're wise. They're just, they're just wise. You know, like, like they're, they're not only wise, they're fair. They're fair because of their wisdom. Because nothing is touching them. Nothing, nothing is touching them. They know too much and they can think too clearly for them to let, for them to get shit all over them. Look, so that's not what it is. And this is a saying of, okay, so you're not going to be fooled, my friends. You are not going to be fooled. Especially by this sly, tricky motherfucker who's honestly surrounded by all these other cards. They're only fooling themselves. If they honestly believe they, if they, they, that they can fool you, the only way that they would fool you is by pulling at your heartstrings or manipulation. And so watch that. Because right now it's very clear. It's like maintain my standards and do not enable any of this kind of fuckery. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, see, you did some hard work here. This is taking on too many responsibilities. And maybe somebody wants to make you work too hard. This could also be martyrdom, thinking, oh, I can do it all. I can do it all by myself. Ego. Maybe this is a deceptive aspect of yourself that says, I could do it all. I could do it all. Or because I have such high standards, I, you know, you want to get it done right, you got to do it all by yourself. Don't let the devil make you paranoid that way because that is not true. Yes, maintain your standards. Yes, be around people who are up to those standards, but don't think you can't trust anybody because you absolutely can. You're sharp enough for that too. You know how to pick out a good motherfucker. Don't deceive yourself that you have to take all these burdens on your back. And the only way I'm going to get something done right is if I do it myself. That's bullshit. And that's also arrogance. And it's arrogance that's going to drag your ass. And that's the last thing that you want. Somebody's here in some way. There's some sort of deception that's making you work harder than you should. 
we have the hermit here this is virgo energy we had virgo energy back here this tells me this is about day-to-day -day scheduling processing um commitment long term the hermit is here saying listen take this one step at a time and go low and slow you know be so boring that people don't even fucking notice you but also be very facetious cross the t's dot the i's make sure that sh shit is done correctly the hermit could also be deciding to spend some time by yourself could also be the burden of taking everything on by yourself you might want to look over things especially paperwork and stuff by yourself give it a check over because there is something here and yes we've got to get the clarification that god is alerting you to somebody tried to slip something in or slip something by you okay we also have the strength card don't worry because moving into the future maybe maybe this will compromise your strength i don't interpret it as that right now i'm interpreting as this is going to make you stronger this is going to make you certain and it's going to point out to you those places where you are vulnerable so get out your pen and paper and get your education on this week because that's exactly the value of this week is going to show you where you're vulnerable where maybe a motherfucker can sneak in and sneak up on you so let's see let's see because you in a good spot we don't want to lose that let's let's get some clarification please why is fox in reverse who is this what is this there could be some paperwork that somebody has twisted into like something that somebody has twisted into stuff that you do trust you know trying to slide it past you as if you got a compromise no and you can just get that shit out and erase that shit you don't have to settle the devil bitch okay shit. i said who is the oh not a story okay let's settle down michelle i said who is this that's what i said first the motherfucker that comes out is this bitch Somebody that wants to tie you up, rope you down, chain you up, authority, consequences, laws, legal, legality. It's also fear. And then nine of cups is hidden. So what this is, is somebody trying to twist you up or make you commit by saying, hey, I can offer you everything. Or it's, it's fear of losing everything that you think fulfills you, everything that you want. And what did I tell you back in the beginning of the reading? We all have our ups and downs in life. You've been on an upward tick. Allow yourself to fall down. You'd rather allow this to come crashing down or slow down or not make as much than to compromise your standards because where the devil is going to grab you where the devil is going to deceive you is say hey i can keep you up high forever yeah with how many strings attached and how many hooks in my soul somebody's trying to get you believe me i'm telling you right now and it's through fear of losing all the beauty that you have you're not going to lose all the beauty that you have you're not Everything has its highs and lows. If you're heading toward a low, it doesn't mean you're losing something. It just means you're in a low. It, that's life. You'll come back up. And the higher you were, don't you know physics? You'll get right back up there. You're, you you got to like come down to come back up. That's fucking awesome. Let it happen. Build that momentum up. Don't be scared of it. Because there's somebody trying to come in here and be like, I'm going to make this solid. We're going to make this last. We're going to make this new high. You're forever. And that's exactly how they get their claws into you and take authority over you. There's a lot that came out in the past. Let's see what it was. We have um, Nine of Pentacles and King of Cups. Somebody didn't feel good about their own personal worth or a loss of value, loss of money, not being appreciated, being insecure. Somebody who's very insecure. Lovers in reverse. So this is all about um, a toxic relationship or something that was not supposed to last. This is also about Ace of Wands, a new beginning, something that did not get a chance that, or the same old, same old, something boring or a new beginning that was denied to you. Four of Swords, deciding too quickly, not taking enough time to pause and wait, rushing through it. And Queen of Swords, a manipulative energy that uses words to sting, to hurt, to harm, to threaten. Um, I don't know if this was you, 
we do have the queen of swords here it suggests that there was not a strong strategy or somebody didn't wasn't making good decisions they were making fast decisions quick decisions decisions they didn't care if they hurt somebody or not right that's what it was um, maybe to cut somebody else off so they couldn't start over or start new that could all be coming back this is what you you resurrected yourself from and tried to move forward from so it's saying hey listen to me you've seen the evil don't fall for it again let's get it let's get a moon card right what, what the what the fuck does evil look like don't look like shit it takes it morphs to shapeshifter it takes different forms every fucking time it doesn't look anyway it acts it behaves a specific way and it comes to you and the first thing it tries to do is make you afraid of losing what you have as if you could because you built this ground up you didn't buy it renovated you can't lose this shit it ain't going nowhere because you know how it's built and you know how to build it you got the blueprints up here bitch i don't need you to stick around and tell me how to hold on to what i got because what i got is me and you didn't build me. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what this little motherfucker's trying to do. They're trying to scare you. That's where it begins. That's where it begins. But you know what? You got to hold on to your... If this was you in the past or some... Like, if that was you, don't be skankity. Don't lose yourself through fear to come back into maybe the slime ball you used to be. Don't do it. You're better than that now. You show the world that. You show the world that by saying, fuck you, man. Go ahead, take. You ain't going to change me back. I'm who I want to be now. Um, step out of your comfort zone, North Node. That's what it is. I mean, if I had to summarize, now the North Node is currently in Aries. What does that mean? Singularity. Don't be afraid to have to initiate by yourself. If other people don't follow, it doesn't matter. You have the North Star. You know where to go. This isn't the North Star, but I'm saying you have your North Star. You know where to go. It may not be easy, but it's right. And you do the goddamn right thing. That's what you do. And don't let anybody put you off because it's between you and God, Gemini. Between you and God. And you don't owe anybody else anything else. Let's go to the extended. I hope to see you there.